probably the largest investment in Canada ever in a single project. We need skilled labour, technical people. It's really about balancing the environment and the economy. Ensuring that we have British Columbians in line for those jobs first. Seeing what other people can do and maybe seeing what my potential is. We get the skills to build our future and go further and go outside the box. The future would be applying what they know for robot excavators, robot snakes that go into clean pipes. If we see an obstacle, we're just going to move it or we can go around it. There's always another way. They're thinking like engineers, they're problem solving, they're being creative, they're collaborating. You learn about yourself, like what you can improve on as a carpenter and like also as a person. Getting kids interested in the trades as early as grade 10, that's helping us develop that skilled workforce. This is nation building at its core. Everybody benefits from that, from Fort St. John to Kitimat and to the office towers of downtown Vancouver. The Nishka Nation has a vision of sustainable prosperity, long-term employment, and developing the economy in the region. There's a lot of opportunities coming up in the trades. We've never seen so much work slated to happen in the province. These LNG projects mean money is going to be flowing into the communities, and the work stays here, which is where it should be in the province of BC. LNG will likely open up jobs in my kind of field that I'd be looking for. LNG is going to be using IT professionals. This is great job security with potential of having like 40 years worth of work once you land a spot at an LNG facility. He invested $3 billion through the Skills for Jobs blueprint over the next 10 years. LNG for me means the security of my family, my kids, my kids' kids. Re-engineering our K-12 system, our post-secondary system, our apprenticeship system. Our young kids that are coming out of schools are our future. They are earning and they're learning also at the same time. The future generation is going to take over my job someday. It's about passing it along. Working with labour and contractors first. First Nations, post-secondary institutions, there will be skilled, reliable, highly trained workers available. These projects, the lives that they change, the future that they create for First Nations, for youth, for our country as a whole, will last for many decades to come.